Hello, this is Stan for GPT for Work. I'm back for a new demo on how to clean and enrich your CRM directly from uh, Google Sheets, thanks to GPT for Sheets. Uh, know that you could do the same in Microsoft Excel with GPT for Excel. So let me jump straight in. The first thing I want to do, so here I have a list of company names uh, with contact names and job titles, and I want to get a standardized job title. So for this, I will use a func function, GPT classify, to uh, that I give an input uh, job title as it is here, and uh, as categories, proposed categories, to standardize the list of job, job titles that I have here. Uh, and I will fix it so that I can drag the formula. You can see that, okay, I get VP here, and now I can drag it, there we go. And soon enough, I will get the results. Boom, there we go. Okay, next step is I want to clean the company name to remove the legal entity suffix. For this, I'm going to use the custom prompt uh, bulk tool. And I'm just going to copy this very simple prompt here. Okay, uh, remove the legal entity suffix from the following company names. Uh, and company name is given here. I actually, since this is not blue, I need to set up my header row so that it detects that this is the name of an actual column that starts at row four. There we go. I'm going to put my uh, results in column E and let's do 20 of them. And it seems like it works. <coughs> it worked perfectly. That's great. So, uh, and of course, you could tweak your prompt a little bit. If there are some suffixes that were not caught, you can add them in the prompt here so that they are not missed the next time. Okay, now let's do uh, something a little bit different. Let's try to enrich the columns, uh, the, the company's accounts. So, uh, the first thing I want to do is from the uh, company name, get the official website. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is to choose a model that is connected to the web. In this case, it will be uh, Sonar. Okay, Sonar is made by Perplexity, so it has access to the web. Uh, all right, and I'm going to copy paste this prompt here, and again, place it here. There you go. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, I need to change this to official website. Okay, we just had a slight miss with this one, so sometimes this can happen and you can easily uh, fix it by hand, like so, if that's the case, but. Um, the amount of manual work that is saved is uh, over 99%. And if you need to do just a bit of work uh, manually to fix things, it should be fine. You've already gained a lot. Okay. Now, I want to know uh, where it, these companies are headquartered. So same thing. I can copy paste this prompt in here. Okay. Oops, I need to change the results column once again. There we go. Great. Okay, uh, now, actually I'll skip this, this question. Uh, although it, it, it will work too, but uh, I wanna uh, go straight into this one where I will categorize the company as uh, doing software or uh, not software as its main. Um, so this is a bit more of a so uh, much more sophisticated prompt as you can see. Uh, and I want to uh, categorize it as uh, doing software or not as, as their main uh, business, okay? Uh, so here I define the categories uh, software uh, more and not software much more in depth than I than I did uh, with uh, the earlier classify function, and I will uh, crank the search effort to high so that it doesn't make any mistake. Uh, this just means that it will use more of information more information from the web uh, that it finds, 
and let's let's try it oh and also I'll activate the sources actually let me stop this right there yeah I'll just put the results in software not software column H Okay, and there we go. I think, uh, yeah, this looks correct, not software. Uh, Apple makes primarily hardware. Uh, Microsoft does make software primarily. Uh, so, yeah, sorry about this was the result of my initial batch. Okay, uh, looks, looks like it worked fine, and you can see the sources, which is uh, really nice. Um, so that you can verify that it looked in the correct places. You can also tweak uh, in which sources uh, it will look, if that's important to you. All right, thank you for listening. Um, please do not hesitate to ask any question and reach out to us uh, and we'll be happy to help. Bye-bye.